So what I'm doing here is I'm, I'm listening for various bird species uh, that are calling within this 100 meter um, semicircle. See there's a warbling vireo sang over on the edge there. Ideally, obviously, I want to hear as many wetland species as possible. And what the uh, broadcast is going to show me there is how far along through the survey am. There's a five minute period where there's no broadcast of sound and there's a five minute of broadcasting specific focal species. Uh, so we'll hear a Virginia rail, a Sora rail, a uh, least bitten, etc. And the idea is that then we'll get a response if the birds are there. Uh, and then we'll get five minutes of kind of dead time after that where I'm listening in for whatever else there is. Savannah sparrows, bobolinks, eastern meadowlarks, all these very much meadow associated species, they, they, they need the open country. Uh, they're all ground nesters. Uh, which is an important point because that, that's a, that raises the sensitivity of that species to disturbance and such. Now that we've got all this encroachment here from the, uh, the, the suburban sprawl, the urban sprawl, I think that there's the perception of a member of the public walking their dog that they don't see that dog doing any harm. So it means that every dog that, that walks here, the impact that that has on birds like bobolinks, they, they, see, they see a dog, they see a predator. So that gets repeated, that kind of stress repeats itself time and time th again throughout the day and eventually there won't be these species here. There are other things that come from urban sprawl, people's cats. Cats are going to roam right way through this meadow here looking for, for young birds and, and whatever else they can find, small mammals. So obviously that's a big impact. But without proper management, meadows and the species that depend on meadows are always going to be at risk. So during the meadow survey, what we're doing is we're marking down where each bird species is within our 100 meter circle. We want to mark down things like what species it is, um, if it's changing its location, if it's singing. So I heard a bobolink behind us, so I'm going to write B-O-B-O, -B -O, which is its code, and it was singing, so a singing male would be a circle.